Hey guys, I'm Lionheart Leo, and I'm here to tell you why aren't they texting me back? I am a shamanic practitioner of 10 years, and I have done a journey to two goddesses, and they are very badass goddesses at that. So um, you're still held in sacred space if you can feel it. I'd love it if you just dropped a little comment saying, I feel it, or sacred space, and I'd love to know if you feel it reaching you, because um, time and space don't exist as we know it, and so my intention is to envelop you in that sacred space. And without further ado, we're going to get right into the reading. So this is a pick a card. Just pick whatever one vibes with you. Pick whatever one resonates for you, and um, we're going to get into my channeled shamanic message from two amazing goddesses. Why aren't they texting you back? Yeah, what's up with that? Let's find out. So I journey to the goddesses and I have four potential cards for you. So we have group one, we have group two, we have group three, and we have group four. So just take a moment, take a deep breath and just see which one is calling to you. Which one does your intuition say yes to? And that is the card that will be meant for you in this reading. Okay, so group number one, we have Ishtar, Communion, and the Six of Cups. So these have been hand-selected for you by a goddess, and I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about journeying to a goddess spirit, and they have selected these for you. So there are two lovely goddesses who have stepped forward today to bring you this message, and I am just the messenger. So, um, you can tell by any cup kind of where the energy is going. You can see that things have been planted here in the six of cups, but you know, things just haven't quite accumulated the way that we want them to yet. Usually I view cups in reverse as kind of where your energy is flowing. Um, having it upright means you're collecting it and having it downright means that you're losing a lot of energy. So... This person that you were wanting to text you back is just really busy right now. They are going to eventually get around to it, but right now they just are not necessarily feeling overwhelmed in a negative way, but feeling overwhelmed in the sense that they just have a lot going on. And so it's nothing personal, but it's also not something that you want to necessarily hold your breath about. You can tell that there's even a pair of figures here and kind of indicating some sort of exchange, but it doesn't mean that necessarily things are working out the way that you want them to, but it's a relatively positive card overall, so it doesn't mean that things are never going to work out. It just means that this person has their head down and kind of their nose to the ground right now. And the lovely goddess that has shown up in these cards for you specifically is Ishtar. She is a Mesopotamian goddess, and she's here to remind you that you got this girl or person or guy, however you identify. <laughs> but Ishtar is here to remind you that you can look within, and she's a partner in co-creation. So she's showing up to remind you that in ancient times, people went to temples to connect with goddesses, just like I went on a journey today to connect with goddesses. So maybe looking inward at this point in your life is going to actually bring that energy into your life that is going to attract the kind of messaging and the kind of attention that you're wanting. Um, it's never a good idea to force someone's will. So we really want someone to be texting us back because they want to. So this person has their head down right now. Like literally this figure's head is down right now. But um, it doesn't mean that it's a lost cause. It just means to go within for the time being and get into alignment with yourself, get comfortable with yourself and start connecting to your own spirit guides and your own divine wisdom. And Ishtar is showing up to take your hand through this. So feel free to connect with her and feel free to connect to any of your other spirit guides but this lovely goddess has shown up to show you the way if you like today's reading please consider giving it a like comment and a subscribe if you subscribe make sure you hit the little bell button so that you never miss when i post one of these and i also take requests so make sure that you just pop a comment in the request if you want a specific video done Sending you love and light wherever you are. I hope you have a lovely day.
Moving on to group number two. So group number two, we have Freya, and then we have the Sun card. So Freya's really cool. Freya's actually one of the goddesses I was speaking to today <laughs> in my journey. So I'm not like typical card readers. I journey to the divine and see who shows up. And uh, today it was Freya. And so what they wanted me to tell you today is that this person is living their best life, but it doesn't mean that you can't be living your best life. So this essentially just means that the person you are waiting on a text message from is so consumed with living their best life, having a good time, that it's not that they don't care about you. It's just that they are busy living it up. So if you are wanting a text back, it's great to get centered in yourself so that you can also have an amazing abundant life. So this isn't a competition. It's something that you can tap into yourself. Um, so the sun not only represents the other person vibing and having a good time, but it's something that you can aspire to as well. And Freya is there supporting you through this. So Freya is a warrior goddess. She is a badass. She's a Norse goddess and I love her. She's just so effortless in the way that she speaks. It's amazing. Um, but she's also here to remind you that when you see life as a battleground, you kind of lose sense of yourself and you lose sense of the sunny part of your life. So you can see here that she is quite the badass. Look at that like look on her face. Um, she doesn't take shit from anybody and I love that. But um, she's not an aggressive goddess. Like, it's not like she's constantly out there trying to pick fights with people or anything. So she is the type of goddess that will fight when it is necessary, but doesn't go around feeling bad all the time. So I really encourage you to look on the sunny side of every situation because this person is not ignoring you because they want to be or because they don't care about you, but they're just really centered and aligned in their own happiness and fun. And it's almost like an invitation for you to get centered in your own happiness and fun. So hopefully you can join them on that horse because, I mean, that looks like an awesome scene. So <laughs> don't let it get you down. Don't go looking for trouble if you can help it. Just acknowledge your feelings, accept that they're happening, and then lean on Freya, call her in to help you, and try and have a little bit of fun. Maybe pop a bottle of bubbly or make yourself a bubble bath or just do something that's going to make you feel alive because that's what we're here for, right? So Freya's coming in to remind you that the tough stuff is just a minor part of our lives and you can have an amazing fulfilled life. So the Norse gods love to feast. So imagine a fun feast for you to be at. at. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a like, giving it a comment or subscribing and just make sure you hit the little bell so that you get notified when my videos come up and feel free to drop a comment if you can feel the sacred space that you're in or if you like the video and also feel free to leave me a request. I am happy to make videos based on requests. Sending you love and light. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Okay, so group number three. We have Ma'at for truth and we have temperance reversed. So I have journeyed to the goddesses on your behalf, and I never like my readings to be super negative, um, but I'm literally just repeating what they said to me, <laughs> and they said, wrong girl, this is not right for you. So if you don't identify as a girl, I think they were just being sassy and, um, you know, to the point in my reading. So run whatever person that you are, <laughs> this is not meant for you. Whenever I do readings, I always look to see where the cups are pointing and if there's water kind of 
where that energy would be flowing. And so you can see that with Temperance reversed, she's kind of like weighing two options and switching up the water between the two of them. But also the water would be falling out of the cup if she was in this position. So, um, you know, not really the best road to glory. As you can see, there's um, the road in the card here. And so everything's just kind of literally falling apart. So temperance upright is usually someone who's very connected with themselves. You can see this by the portrayment of the halo and the third eye, but this means that you're getting out of alignment with yourself. You're getting out of alignment with who you truly are waiting for this person to text you back. And it's sometimes not worth it. Sometimes our own alignment just really helps us well, our own alignment is is pretty much one of the most important things. It really helps us lead a spirit-driven life, lead a life of purpose, feel fulfilled, feel happy, feel safe. And so if this person is taking up so much headspace um, while you're waiting for them to message you back, they're probably not worth it. And you have these badass goddesses that have shown up today to help you on that path. So Try not to get into fear too much. It's totally okay. There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing about this is about you. It just means that the situation is not there for your highest good. So we can let that go with ease and grace, hopefully, because you deserve to be happy and fulfilled. So this lovely goddess is stepping forward to tell you that your power lies within truth. Your life is exactly where it needs to be in this moment. So feel free to make empowered choices from your own truth. And how we find our own truth is checking in with our intuition. I always say our gut knows first. So whatever your gut feeling is first about something is usually the best thing. So feel free to check in with your intuition, call on this goddess of truth, call on your higher self, and just... Try and live life from a place of alignment because right now waiting on this person to message you is not in alignment and you can just bless them and let them go if you choose to do that. But essentially, whatever this situation is that you're waiting on or you're waiting on confirmation about, it probably just is not in your highest and best and that's okay because when we acknowledge that our emotions are just a guidance system, then we can start to realize that like, oh, if something feels bad, if you're feeling bad in this moment, you can just take that as information. It's like Google Analytics or Instagram Analytics or whatever. It's just telling you what's working and what's not working so that you have as much information as possible. So we all have our own truth, but you will have your own truth based on your own intuition. And Ma'at and all my goddess friends who I journey to today are here for you. So feel free to call on them and just know that you are doing the right thing and there's no wrong way to go about this, but this potentially is not in your highest and best, whatever the situation is. So wherever you are, I'm sending you love and light. I really wish you luck with this current situation, and I hope you find the people who are your soul grouping, and they are there to support you because that's what you deserve. You deserve to have all of this glory. You deserve to have your third eye vibing and the halo and your feet and the lovely water and a crown waiting for you and all this lovely energy just flowing back and forth between each other. So I really hope you find that. And so I'll leave you with that. Sending you light and love wherever you are. Please consider giving this a like, comment, or share. And if you want to get more videos like this, hit subscribe and make sure that you hit the little bell. So I'm Lionheart Leo. I love you. I'm sending you good vibes wherever you are. And I really wish you luck with this situation. All right, card group number four. So we have Black Jaguar and we have the Magician. This is a really powerful pairing, actually. So Black Jaguars are all about um, mysticism. It's all about uh, magic, seeing in the night. It's also very interesting because the Magician brings a male energy, and the Black Jaguar brings a kind of feminine moon energy while still being very masculine and um, grounded. So unlike the Goddess cards, we have a lovely animal card. And this person is a very deep thinker and they're kind of going through very deep thought right now. And so I was shown this branch and 
all these little bursts of light kind of in like flower and fractal shapes coming off each stem of the branch and this is kind of how this person's mind or life is working right now so they're really focused on outward expansion they're really focused on expanding their consciousness and the reason they're not texting you back is because they're just essentially having an awakening whether it's a spiritual awakening or um an awakening of knowledge or they're starting to get their career on path or they're just having all these realizations and they don't even realize that they're kind of dropping the ball on communication. So this person um, is very tuned into the way the universe works. And if they haven't been like that in the past, they're really waking up to it now. You can tell by the magician that this is someone who is learning to master not only their own mind and emotions, but also kind of like magic and alchemy and personal power. So both these cards are very powerful and they're all about this person. Um, kind of getting to know their own inner power. So it doesn't mean that they're not going to show up for you in any way. It just means that they're going through their own thing right now and it's not anything to worry about. If anything, they're going to have amazing insights to share with you. So once they kind of come back to reality a little bit, and I say that loosely because <laughs> are we really in reality or is this the matrix or the dream state, you know, but um, once they come back to this, this plane where we're existing to daily life, they're probably going to have all these amazing insights to share with you, and they're probably going to be really excited to share them with you. So it's something to keep in mind that you just want to stay open and receptive once they are able to. But I don't know if you've gone through a spiritual awakening, but sometimes when I've gone through my spiritual awakenings, I've just had to kind of shut the world out, and this is kind of what this person is doing right now. So don't worry too much. Don't read too much into it because they're really just going through this amazing transformation. And if anything, they're going to come out the other side with all these cool ideas to share with you. So one of the best things you can do is just tap into your own inner power and your own inner wisdom at this point so that <laughs> you can just kind of enjoy that conversation once it comes around. So try not to worry. Try to just vibe with it and know that Jaguar is taking good care of you as well as the goddesses that have shown up today. So yeah, Jaguar is all about feminine power, moon magic, and um, empowerment. So just lean on that if you need to and ask them to guide your way.